Welcome back to Designs by Shy. So today we're going to be doing a print to cut tutorial. And if you are familiar with print to cut, then you know there is a difference between doing a light color shirt or a white shirt and then a dark color shirt or a black shirt. So we're going to be using pin plus gear fabric transfer sheets. And in this package, you get 10 um, white or light transfer sheets and then five of the dark or black transfer sheets. So I usually always buy this package because if you buy um a regular package but this is avery but if you buy a regular package separate it would still be five of the dark sheets in one package and then the other package will be 10 of the uh, white sheets for the same price if you just to buy this so we are using this this is my favorite favorite um brand and this is what i use for every single print to cut shirt i do so we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video okay so as usual we're gonna start with the blank canvas I'm gonna go ahead and go to upload. I'm gonna go to upload and browse one one of the images we're doing. The other one's already loaded to Cricut. So I just gotta find the second image right here. Always complex. That gets all the details of the picture. And we're gonna keep uh, let's see. I think we're just going to go ahead and keep the whole picture. Continue. Save. Now we're going to upload these two images for our shirts. Okay. So, as you can see over here to the right hand side, you will see a triangle, a yellow triangle. And that is telling you that something's wrong with this image um, and you need to fix something. So you're going to go ahead and click on it and it says image too large, reduce image size to 6.75 by 9.25 or less. So with this image, we're going to go up here and go to the lock, unlock it. And we're going to do exactly that, 6.75 by 9.25. Once you change the sizing of the image, that triangle no longer appears there. So now you know it's good to go to be able to make it. And then with this image, we are actually going to do six by six. Okay, there, now that we have the size that we want, we're gonna go ahead and go to make it. All right, so these are the two images. So with our first image, the bear, we are doing that on a light gray shirt and we are using light or white um, fabric sheets. So we will have to mirror this image. And now the second image you see, which is Mother Goose Club image. With that, we are putting on a black t-shirt. So with that, we're gonna use dark fabric um, Sorry, dark fabric transfer paper, so we do not have to mirror the image. So we're going to go ahead and first thing first, we're going to uh, continue. So, printer up real quick. Okay, we're going to send to printer. We are going to print this without the bleed. Okay, so I'm actually not going to use the Cricut to cut out the image. 
So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next print to cut image. And we're going to send that to printer. Take the bleed off. And go ahead and print that. And so now we just cut it with scissors as you will see in the video. Okay, so this is where I do my printing at. So as you um, will see if you read the directions for the transfer paper, you will know the difference between the dark transfer paper and the light transfer paper because the light transfer paper will have red lines on the back and the dark transfer paper will have blue lines on the back. So when you print, you want to make sure the lines are facing, uh, I don't know which way is out, which way you would call in, but the lines will be facing out in your printer. So same thing, when you put your paper in, the lines will be facing away from where it prints out at because you want it to print on the plain side of the paper so for your red I mean for your light fabric transfer like I said once again red lines on the back for the lights or the white in, er, shirts or fabrics and then blue lines on the back for dark shirts or fabric all right so now we have both images um, printed off the printer and I'm not going to use the Cricut to cut it. I'm going to go ahead and just cut it by hand with the scissors. So you'll go ahead and cut it. Now for these, if you was to cut it with the Cricut, it's going to cut the black line. So you could either keep your black line and keep the border and just peel it and use it that way, or you can go ahead and cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off though. Okay, so these are the two different images. This one is the light transfer paper, and you know that because remember we have the red lines on the back. And then this one is the dark transfer paper, and remember that because it has the blue lines on the back. Okay, so first one we are going to do is the light transfer fab fabric, or the light fabric transfer paper, sorry. So you're just going to lay your image here. Now lay your image on the shirt or whatever blank you're using. Okay. And then even though it has the sheet on there to protect it, I still always use my uh, um, what, I, what is this? My, I cannot think of the name of it right now. Okay, whatever. So, I'm going to go ahead and press it. Oh, I forgot it's all the way up. The bottom of the paper here. Okay, so here we go. Pressing it. We're going to go ahead and just do 20 seconds for right now. So with your light fabric transfer paper, it has to cool down before you take it off or it will 
mess up the image. So we're going to go ahead and just put it to the side while we do our second t-shirt. So as you may have already seen from my onesie video, usually for um, kids t-shirts, I almost always have to use this receiving blanket just to raise up the middle of the shirt. your um, dark fabric transfer paper you want to turn it over so this comes off so you want to take this off before you press it onto the t-shirt sometimes it's kind of difficult to get Alright, now you're just going to lay the image onto the t-shirt. Alright, so in your um, package, you will get protective sheets, these, and you're going to go ahead and use that to go over your image. will be 20 seconds as well. And that comes right off. All right, so now that it has time to cool it down, we're going to go ahead and peel it. And we peel it very slowly. Here's the outcome for the light fabric transfer paper and then the dark fabric transfer paper. Okay, so that was the print to cut tutorial. I hope the video was helpful and I hope it was easy to follow. But if not, please leave a comment below of any other questions you may have still and I will try to answer that as soon as possible. If there's any other content you would like to see a tutorial for or a visual for, please let me know that as well because I am taking requests right now. Oh, and I just, I'm just trying to get different ideas of what people need to see. I know there's a lot of YouTube videos out there. So I'm trying to just do something that's not already done a thousand and one times. So please let me know of anything that you would like to see that you can't really find a lot of good content on or detailed content on. And I will do that video for you. 
And another thing, if you are not following or join my Cricut group, please join my Cricut group. Please join my crafting group. I will leave the link to both of those in the description below. The Cricut group is still new. It's not many members in it, but please join us. Please speak. Please show your project off. Um, you know, interact with us because not too many people interact. But like I said, it's still new. It's still up and coming. So, and in the crafting group, what I do is every week I try to post a project. I give people maybe, I think this week is wine glass. So, I post, you know, make a glitter wine glass. You can do whatever you want to do with it, but it just has to be a wine glass with glitter on it. And, you know, you have fun with that. And then I'll give you a date um, a week out that the project is due. And then you will post your creations. So, please join me in my different groups. I will leave the link below, like I already said. Um that's about it so yeah please keep liking my videos please keep subscribing if you're not already subscribed tell a friend tell a family member like i said let me know any more content you would like to see and until next time guys